Hey, welcome back to Bed Squid. In this video, part three of trigonometry, we're gonna be finding the missing angles of a right angle triangle. Coming up. So if we're given two side lengths of a right angle triangle, we can find the other angles of the triangle. So let's say we have a triangle, a right angle triangle, and we have the side lengths of two centimeters and seven centimeters, and we have the angle theta. We can label this as the hypotenuse, the length opposite angle theta, and the length adjacent to the angle theta. So using Sokotoa, we know that we have the opposite and the hypotenuse, in which case we're gonna use the sine ratio. So we can say then sine theta is equal to two over seven, so theta is the angle whose sine is two over seven. We say theta is the inverse sine of two over seven, and we write it as theta is equal to sine inverse two over seven. You'll see this little power of negative one here. So as we continue with the example, we can use our calculator to evaluate inverse of sine, and we can do that on this particular calculator by pressing second, which is shift, and then sine. You can see above sine, there's a little inverse of sine. Likewise, on cosine, there's an inverse of cosine, and the tangent ratio has a little inverse of tan. So inverse of sine, two over seven, gives us a value of 16.6. So for a right angle triangle with a hypotenuse of seven centimeters and an opposite length of two centimeters, theta is equal to 16.6 degrees. Just a quick note, remember that the mode on the calculator is in degrees and not radian. We define inverse of cosine and inverse of tangent in a similar way. So you can use the calculator functions cosine and tangent with the shift key. Okay, let's do an example. Find to one decimal place the measure of the angled marked theta. We've got part A and part B, and we're going to use Sokotoa. So if you pause the video here and try it for yourself, and then play when you're ready, and I'll give you the worked solutions. So for part A, I know that I have the hypotenuse and the adjacent. So in that case, I'm going to be using the cosine ratio. And cosine is adjacent over hype. So I can set this up by saying cosine theta is equal to 7 over 9. And then theta is equal to the inverse of cosine, 7 over 9. And then if I do that on my calculator, I get theta is equal to approximately 38.9 degrees. For part B, I have the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. I know I'm going to be using the opposite and the adjacent. So in this case, I'm going to be using the tan ratio. So tan theta is equal to 14 over 11. And theta is equal to the inverse of tan, 14 over 11. If I do that on my calculator, I get theta is equal to approximately 51.8 degrees. Hey, so check over your work. If you've got the same answers, well done. And let's move on to a couple of more questions. So it says, use trigonometry to find to one decimal place all the unknown angles of the following triangles. Pause the video here and try all three questions for yourself. And when you're ready, press play and I'll show you the work solutions. Okay, so for part A, these are the trig ratios that I used and the angles that I got were 34.85 degrees and 55.15 degrees. So one decimal place, you can round that off to 34.9 and 55.2. This is part B and part C. Just pause and confirm that you've got your answers correct. And if you haven't, just go over them again. Be sure to rewind the video if you have to and just go over the concepts. As always, thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, drop me a like. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And consider subscribing for more math videos. And check out part four, which is problem solving using trig. I'll see you in the next one.